Alright, Shalom, it's the brother Tawab Ash from the Great Millstone Northwest. First and foremost, I want to give uh, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bob Shem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, uh, double honors unto the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing this truth uh, throughout the four corners of the earth. Uh, another, another, fuck, uh, another week, so like it, in this kingdom known as uh, Babylon the Great, Egypt, spiritually Egypt, and uh, uh, spiritually Sodom. You know, more homosexuality, more uh, uh, wickedness going on throughout the four corners of the world. You know, more uh, uh, Esau's bullshit. You know, he's got a, uh, he's playing this war game with uh, North Korea, going back and forth with these missiles. Right, and uh, you know he's just doing himself, being the devil, being the devil that he is. And uh, you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the, the scripture speak, and get right into it, and uh, you know just keep chanting down this this place, Babylon. You know, you know what I'm saying we're almost out of here, Lord willing, we part of that number. You know we got to keep tearing down these strongholds, keep this truth pushing throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, standing firm for what we believe in. Uh, this is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, and I'll start at 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures, of him come uh, come we all. Right? So the scripture saying, yeah, we all come from Adam, because that's everybody's first excuse. When we tell them this is just for the Israelites, right, the so-called Negro, so-called uh, Native American, so-called uh, uh, Seminole Indian, and so-called Latino, which are the true children of the uh, nation of Israel, according to the scriptures, who are still under the curses uh, that the Most High put, uh, has put on us for being disobedient. Those are the chosen children of, uh, uh, of Israel, right? And they come from Adam, but so does everybody else. Cool, yeah, that's, that's you got it. You know, we do all come from Adam. But it go, it's, it's deeper than that. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, right? So he also chose him of, of, of people, right? And he said that uh, he loved his people more than uh, all the people there upon the face of the earth. I'm gonna grab it, Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6. It's like it. All right, this is uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Right, holy meaning separate, uh, special, peculiar, uh, a, a treasure, right? Something that you hold dear, it's separate from everything else. It's holy. Uh, the Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Right, that said that the most high power, Yahweh, which is the name of uh, who you, ignorant, uh, you people ignorantly call God, right, has chosen the Israelites to be a special people unto himself. Now, people might be like, oh, that's not fair. Well, that's because your mind isn't on the level of, of, Yahweh, uh, of Yahweh, right? Your, your, your mind can't think the way that the Most High thinks, right? You can't tell him that he can't have a favorite. You have a favorite color. You got a favorite friend that you like to call and go do your wickedness on the weekend with. Right, you got a favorite uh, 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 a jump off that you like to call when you when you're trying to get it in, right? So why can't the Most High have a favorite chosen uh, 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 a vessel that he made? If you made ten pots as a potter, and you you sat there and you made your ten pots, and you lined them up, and you were like, man, I like that one the most. That's my favorite right there because of this or that. You're gonna have your reasons why you choose that vessel because you created all those. It's the same with the, with the most high power that created uh, uh, everything on this earth through the uh, uh, the Allah the, uh, the angels, the uh, 144 elect, and Yahweh Shai, right? He created everything through, he pushed it out and said, go, go do my will. Just like he does now unto the prophets, go do my will, right? And he created everything and he chose the nation of Israel to be a special people unto himself. And he promised that he would come back and deliver those people from the, the torture and the hell they would be going through in the end days. And he's not a liar. The Most High does not lie. Right? He cannot tell a lie because he's pure. Righteousness. Right? So, so what he said is going to happen is going to happen. That's just what it is. 
It's not like two men over here having a conversation like, yeah, man, I'm going to be there later. And he don't show up. That's not how the most high power you, how it works. Uh, he said he chose them to be a special people unto himself, reading on, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right? Not just over uh, a couple, not over a, a few, some. No, he said above all the people that are on the face of the earth. Above all, a peculiar chosen nation, right? We're going to jump back into 2 Ezra 6 and uh, 55. Or I'll finish reading 54 and then jump into 55. And the people also whom he has chosen. So we all come from Adam, right? Jumping back on track. We all come from Adam and also the people that he has chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. Right? So when he had the Alhaim together, that's 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 the whole that's the whole story right there, the Alhaim. Right? They they Yahweh said, let there be light, the Alhaim, and the other powers went and made there be light. Right? He commands, they do. It's the same thing with the prophets. He commands, they do. He said, go out to the highways and the byways. Right? And bid bid men to the marriage, right? And and push this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. So that's why we do this. Because number one, we're commanded to. Number two, he promised uh, uh promised us great glory for doing it. What's better than that? You go to work and slave for this god for this devil, Salakia, and you don't get no reward for it. A little bullshit pension, if you have one, a little 401k, a little retirement. Right? If you live long enough to see that, it'll dwindle out before you get, before you even get old enough to enjoy it. Right? But you can't come out and do the work and the will of your Shimmy Al Shai. Right? And you can't labor in something that has a greater reward than what than what you put into it. Because we're not even worthy to do this work. Our righteousness is as filthy rags, but he hath chosen us to be worthy enough uh, to come out and do this work. That in itself is, is an amazing thing that, that is, is hard to fathom for a lot of people that don't understand the truth. To be able to come out and do this will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Most High, and do it in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai is a blessing. Because the end result of that, if we are uh, elected, called, and chosen, right, you're going to get beamed up in them chariots and escape the utter destruction of this. Uh, uh, this current structure right let me stay on let me stay on track um all this have i spoken of thee O yahweh because thou hast menaced the world for our sakes as the as for the other people which also are of adam okay yes because there are other people that come from adam and 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 you know everybody says oh you know we all come from adam so that the the, the uh, Isaac uh, Abraham Isaac and Jacob thing doesn't matter. Well, that's not true. The Most High had the chosen line, and He chose it to go that way through those fathers. Uh, as for the other people which also come from Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and hast uh, likened the abundance of them uh, unto a drop that falleth falleth from a vessel. Right, so. If you take the spit and you spit on the ground, you, you're, you're casting that away. It don't matter. It's going to dry up and evaporate. Benito, done. You don't care about it. Right? And in the abundance of them, as unto the drop, if you've got a whole bucket of water that you need for the day to do your daily dues, drinking water, boiling water, whatever you need it for, and you got a whole couple of buckets, and you lose one drop, are you... <laughs> Are you gonna turn around and go get a drop out of the uh, the creek again and put it into the water and then walk all the way back? No, it's one drop. When you're walking, I mean, just in it, from doing construction, when you're walking with buckets of water, you're gonna lose some water. But are you worried about that water? No, because that's not your intent. You didn't need all the water. You needed a certain amount of water. And as long as you got that, you were sufficient. Well, it's the same thing for the Most High. He cares about the nation of Israel all the other nations are just here as pawns, right? To be servants unto, uh, ultimately, eventually to be servants to the Israelites and in the, in the, in the kingdom of heaven. 
that will be on earth ruled by 12 uh the 12 nations judging the 12 tribes or the 12 uh yeah kind of, or the 12 the 12,000 out of each 12, tribe 12,000 out of each tribe judging. sitting on the thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel right which is the 144,000 elect to water uh and now oh uh oh Yahweh, behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us right that's what they do even these damn chinese japanese they rule it over us right they treat us like like hell esau ruling over us but the most i don't care about him this is for a chast a, a chastity a punishment for not doing the will keeping the law statutes and commandments of the most high right not doing what he came what he called us to do uh, but we thy people who now has called thy firstborn thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands if the world now be made for our sakes why do we not possess an inheritance with the world how long shall this endure right sighing and crying you know i just was filming the brother he did a video on sighing and crying right and that mark it's going to be put on the foreheads of those that are sighing and crying in truth and sincerity by the angels. The Tawa, the exemption from the, the, the future coming judgment of this place. Right? And I think I'm going to shut it down at that. Um, again, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders. And shalom to the Akia. Yo, keep pushing uh, keep pushing this truth. Shalom.